Let's return to validity for a moment. As it turns out, we have a powerful skill at our disposal. Namely, we can demonstrate invalidity. To demonstrate the invalidity of an argument, we simply need to compose a new argument with the same form as the original, whose premises are in fact true and whose conclusion is in fact false. We will call this new argument a counterexample. Let's look at a specific instance. The following argument is invalid. Premise 1, some snakes are poisonous. Premise 2, all cobras are poisonous. Conclusion, so all cobras are snakes. Now, it's not immediately obvious that the argument is invalid. It does have one thing going for it, all the claims it makes are true, but we know that that doesn't make any difference when determining validity, since validity is determined solely by the argument's form and not by the truth of the statements it contains. If this argument is invalid, it's invalid because it has a bad invalid form. This is the form. Premise 1, some A or B. Premise 2, all C are B. Conclusion, so all C are A. To prove that the original snake argument is invalid, we would have to show that this form is invalid. For a valid form, as we know, it's impossible to plug things into the placeholder letters and get true premises and a false conclusion. So, for an invalid form, it is possible to plug things into the blanks and get that result. That's how we create our counterexample. We plug things in for A, B, and C in an attempt to find a case where the premises turn out true and the conclusion turns out false. Here's our counterexample that shows the argument is invalid. Premise 1, some billionaires are female. Premise 2, all mothers are female. Conclusion, so all mothers are billionaires. For A, we inserted billionaires. For B, we chose females. And for C, mothers. The first premise, that some billionaires are female, is clearly true. Oprah Winfrey is a prime example. The second premise, that all mothers are female, is true by definition. A mother is a female parent. And the conclusion that all mothers are billionaires is patently false. There are very, very few mothers who are billionaires. In fact, not even Oprah is a billionaire mother since she doesn't have children. That's all we need to do to prove that the original snake argument is invalid. Come up with one counterexample, one way of filling in the placeholders in its form to get true premises and a false conclusion. With our counterexample method, we can prove invalidity. Side note, proving that an argument is valid is more difficult. Later in the course, we'll discover a method for doing so.